Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to worship this 23rd Sunday after Pentecost, All Saints Sunday. Um, this morning, our worship service will be focusing on All Saints Sunday and also communion. Uh, this coming Wednesday, uh, Bible study is at 6 o'clock. Uh, at council meeting seven, seven. Uh, we had a hundred plus kids for the first trunk or treat. It was a great success. Uh, we learned quite a few things. Uh, so next year, hopefully, we will be more prepared, and we won't run out of like I ran out of candy, Josh ran out of toys. Uh, the list goes on and on, and so. We know next year uh, we ran out of hot dogs. It was a great event though. Uh, we do have a good report. I went to the uh, first Upper Midwest Annual Conference. They had one deacon and 45 elders ordained. Uh, my credentials was transferred. Uh, so I'm now a part of the uh, Global Methodist Church as an elder. And uh, next week, uh, the conference will be meeting the Minnesota Annual Conference and voting on us uh, going, leaving, disaffiliating. Any other announcements? Mm -hmm. I have. I have a thank you that I'd like to read with you. This is from um, Daniel Paulson. He's one of the veterans that received a quilt of valor uh, blanket. Says Joyful Spirit Methodist Church, I'd like to thank everyone for the wonderful veterans dinner and program. I was so touched being honored for my Vietnam service and the beautiful quilt. Thank you for brightening my world. Your kindness is a great blessing. Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you, Daniel Paulson. And that also was a very successful event. And I have another. Uh, there's backpacking. Any of you like to join us? It's going to be this Thursday, and you can, anybody can know, I can do it, anybody can. This, this Thursday, actually, Pastor, we're starting at 2.30, instead of 3. So if you want to help, come to 2.30, Thursday at the elementary school in Marina. Cafeteria. Yeah. So. Um, you have to go into the office on 29th. Yeah, the doors are all locked. So, yeah, going on the 29th office doors. Yep. I have you. Um, okay, I was asked to share the empty stocking fund talent program is going to be December 6th, and this will be posted up on the bulletin board. And if you love to sing in a choir type thing, um, St. Hans is putting together a choir and people are invited to come and join them and their practices will be the Wednesdays before that at 7 o'clock. So um, that's the share. And then poinsettias, we had a couple of miscommunications in the newsletter. Evidently I forgot to send the um, updated info. But poinsettia order blanks are back on the table and so please take one and um, let's fill our sanctuary with beautiful poinsettias this year, if you'd like. So they're back there, and sometimes they're in the bulletin too. So. There wasn't space this week. <laughs> and then um, also in the newsletter, there's a goof up in words. We're gonna do a fundraiser on, at the Christmas festival on November 25th. We're gonna sell a wassail and ginger cookies. So if you're a cookie baker, we're looking for a good ginger cookie recipe. So you bakers, I don't know if we're just going to do one, pick one recipe or, but we want them baked so we can individually wrap them and sell them at the festival. So, and there's a sign-up sheet for that in the back also. So you 
cookie bakers get together and figure out a good ginger cookie recipe. Kathy, that they had in there that they wanted the cookies by the 12th. Of yeah, that was, that was the oopsie. <laughs> that was the oopsie. I was hoping we'd have a recipe chosen by the 12th. So those that wanted, if we were all doing the same cookie, we're the same. So hopefully we'll get more information on that. So the deadline actually for the cookies would be like noon on the 24th. So that we can get them to the school and draft, et cetera. So yeah, that was that was an oopsie. <laughs> so okay. Anything else? I think that that's fair. Okay, as you are able, please stand, you know, responsibly reading the scripture for all saints day. I beheld a great multitude which no one could number of all nations, kindreds, and people stood bore before the throne of the Lamb. They were clothed with white robes, held palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, who sits upon the throne and on the Lamb. And all the angels stood around about the throne, and about the elders and the four living creatures, and fell before the throne on their faces and worshiped God, saying, Amen. Amen. Blessings and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. We'll be singing hymn number 702, first, third, and fourth stanza. Sing with all the saints in glory.
Lyman Lee. Norma Lee. Morris Pollen. Aaron Pierce. Maureen Iverson. Bill Iverson. Keith Van Orsdale. Andy Zielman. Oliver Truax. <coughs> Keith Milbrand. Judy Mitchell. <laughs> Judy Mitchell. There is a new heaven, a new earth, and a new city, where the river of life flows, where the tree of life bears fruit in every season. Please be seated. Our Old Testament lesson this morning will actually be taken from the book of Revelations, chapter 7. Verse 9 through 17. After this I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, tribe, people, and language, standing before the throne and before the Lamb. They were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands, and they cried in a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God, who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb. All the angels were standing around the throne, and around the elders and the four living creatures. They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom and thanks and honor and power and strength be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders asked me, These in white robes, who are they? And where did they come from? I answered, Sir, you know. And he said, These are, the, the, these are they who have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will shelter them with his presence. Never again will they be hungry. Never again will they thirst. The sun will not beat down on them, nor any scorching heat. But the lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of living waters. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Please join me as we read Psalm 34, 
uh, we'll read verse 1 through 10 and verse 22. I remind you, we'll be reading, you will be reading verse 10 and 22 as part of the response. So please don't kind of pause it. You'll be reading both verses. I will bless the Lord at all times. God's praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast to the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt God's name together. I saw the Lord who answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Look to God and be radiant, so your faces shall never be ashamed. Before the cry out, the Lord heard and saved them out of all their troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear God and delivers them. O taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are those who take refuge in God. O fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for those who fear God have no want. They are blind, suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord God have no good things. The, the Lord redeems the life of his servants. None of those who take refuge in God will be condemned. Our epistle this morning is taken from 1 John chapter 3, verse 1 through 3. See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Dear friends, now we are children of God, and what we will be has not yet been made known. But we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. All who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. It's hymn number 724 on Jordan Stormy Banks, I Stand. Thank you. 
Let us go to the Lord in prayer, followed by unison prayer of confession, followed by the Lord's prayer. Let us pray. Father, we're reminded like John saw in the book of Revelation, that one day there will be a great multitude, so large that we cannot even number them. People from every nation, tribe, language, rich, poor, young, old, black, white, yellow, you name the color, the language, from all over this world will be there before the throne of grace. Dressed in white. Because their robes will be white because they were washed in the blood of the Lamb. Father, may we remember those who passed this year and honor them. Realizing that it is not the end. But we will see them again. We thank you for your love. As John writes, see what great love God has lavished on us. You are a God of love who lavish love on us. On all of us, no matter who we are, what language we speak, or where we're from. We thank you that you have called us children of God. Forgive us, Father, when we do not live up to your standards. We ask that you be with us and our church. We also ask that you be with the churches in Oceania, from the American Samoa, Cook's Island, to Vanuatu, Tuvala, Tonga, Solomon Islands. So many people living there. There are different color, different nationalities, different languages. But we see before the throne all who call upon your name become a part of the family of God. And so those who left us, we know as a part of the family of God, we will see them again. Bless the churches. We also ask that you bless all these others. We think of Ray and all the other veterans in Fergus that an outbreak of COVID we think of Steve who is going for this surgery with his teeth and his anemia and his blood issue. Be with him. Bless the doctor who is going to have to do that removing of that tooth. We think of Mick who also have issues and is recovering at home. Lord, we think of Gail and her cancer. We think of the hunters who are hunting. Bring them safely back to worship with us. Father, Christ, O oh Lord, invites to his table all who love him, who earnestly repent of their sin and seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sins before God and one another in the unison prayer of confession. Merciful God, we confess that we have not loved you in our whole hearts. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done your will. We have broken your law. We have rebelled against your love. We have not loved our neighbors. And we have not heard the cry of the need. Forgive us, we pray. Free us for joyful obedience. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thou hast forgiven and reconciled people of God. Let us boldly pray as Christ taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Our Lord, as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and as we forgive those who trespass against us. And this is not the temptation. Let 
Let us offer ourselves and our gifts to God. The morning offering will now be received. different color, different languages, and those who will be there that day. is such a large number that we cannot what? 
number them. There included those who we lost this past year. They're included in that great multitude. Male, female, Jew, Gentile, from every what? Nation, language, people, and the list goes on. And we're all there to worship our God. Who will take away all this grief and mourning and sorrow. But while we're here, we have these problems. We have sickness. We have death. We have these problems. Jesus, in speaking to his disciples on the Sermon on the Mount, reminds them that they are indeed blessed. Sometimes we just hear the part, the born. But the point is that we are what? Blessed. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are the and I hate to admit, as an individual, I do not live up to the standard that God has established for us. The scripture said, blessed are the pure in heart. And, and if, if I'm truthful, I can tell you that not all my motives are pure. Sometimes I do things with ulterior motives. But here's the thing, before you point the finger, how many of us have pure hearts, pure motives for what we do? Or blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. I know that there are times that I'm really on the doing God's will and, and there are times that I'm selfish and think of who? Just myself. I'm not hungering and thirsting to the point of doing the right thing. Standards are here and we fall short. We all do. But the good news for us is we are a work in progress. We're like a piece of coal. It's carbon, but it's black. If you touch it, your hands get what? Dirty. But it is a work in progress. If you take that coal and put it under pressure and heat, you can make it into a what? Flawless diamond. Pure. And all of us, if we have to admit, we are definitely none but a lump of what? Oh, flaws. So the, as I mentioned, I'm not pure in heart. I, I'm definitely not always a peacemaker. The scripture said, blessed are the what? Peacemaker. <laughs> Yet at the same time, we see there's war in Ukraine, now war in Israel and Palestine, and there's other wars in Sudan and South Sudan that we know nothing of, much less the war in our streets. Yet we are called upon as Christians to this higher standard. To be pure of heart, to be peacemaker, to hunger and thirst become children of God by these high standards. <laughs> but the good news for us we see in 1 John, it says, see what great love the Father has lavished on us. God loves us so much that it's not just a little bit of love, it's love that overflows, that He lavished love on us. Even though we don't deserve it and we're sinners, we're that lump of coal, God has lavished His love on us so that we are called what? Children of God. 
God loves us so much that even though we are sinners, he lavishes love upon us. And the scriptures go on and it says, and that is what we are. We are children of God. And the reason the world does not realize it is because the world does not know him. All those who will be in front of the throne is because we have gotten to know him, Jesus. Our robes will be white not because of what we have done, because our robes will be washed in the blood of the Lamb. It's what Christ did on the cross for us. God loves us so much, he lavished his love on us and called us children of God. John goes on, dear friends, now that we are children of God, and we will be, has not yet been made known. What we will be has not, we're still a work in what? Progress. What we will be, I mean, we're still that piece of coal, but we need the heat, the pressure. We face life with all its problems. in order for us to overcome. But one day we will see Christ, what? Again. Isn't that what the scripture said? But we will know that when Christ appears, for we will be like him. In the meantime, we're working progress. Those who left us this past year, their work is done. Their work is what? They're done. They don't have to face the problems that we have to face still as long as we're alive. But they too will be what? Like Him. Because they too had faith and believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. So one day we will be like Him. All who has this hope in him purify themselves as he is pure I cannot be pure in heart but I have hope just like you have hope because of what Christ has done for us we will see them again as we will see Christ all over the word of the Lord Our hymn for communion will be Shall We Gather at the River, hymn number 723. We'll sing the first through the third stanza.
be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you. Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, you formed us in your image and breathed into us the breath of life. When we turned away and our love failed, your love remained steadfast. You delivered us from captivity, made a covenant to be our sovereign God, and spoke to us through the prophets. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are you and blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ. Your Spirit anointed him to preach good news to the poor, to proclaim the release to the captive and the recovering of sight to the blind to set up liberty those who are oppressed, and to announce that the time had come when you would save your people. He healed the sick, fed the hungry, and ate with sinners. By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. When the Lord Jesus ascended, he promised to be with us always, in the power of your word and the Holy Spirit. On the night he gave himself up for us, he took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, yes. this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, gave it to his disciples and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. When on the day you raised him from the dead, he was recognized by his disciples in the breaking of the bread and in the power of your Holy Spirit. Your church has continued in the breaking of bread and the sharing of the cup. And so in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ is died, Christ, Christ is risen, Christ is Christ 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 Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here, on, on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world, until Christ comes in final victory, and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, almighty God, now and forever. Amen. Because there is one loaf, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. The bread which we break is a sharing of the body of Christ. The cup over which we give thanks is a sharing of the blood of Christ. I invite you to come as we share of the body and blood of Christ.
Eternal God, we give you thanks for this holy mystery in which you have given yourselves to us. Grant that we may go into the world in the strength of your spirit to give ourselves for others. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord. Amen. Please join me in our benediction. Please stand as you are able or closing him when we are when we all get to heaven. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen.